crickets in the background. I don't mess with y'all too much. It's uh, middle of the night. Just feel like I had to bring this content to you. It was, instead of me uh, yelling at it, yelling at a screen in the bathroom. Sorry, I've been drinking a little bit. I might as well share it with y'all. So here we go. Now, see, this is what I call again, and I bet you, looking by the nail of the person that's doing this, it gotta be either, I say, a young family member that thinks this is funny, or it gotta be this nigga's mother. Ain't no way a nigga's father be doing all this dumb shit, especially his son cussing and shit like this. See, this is another reason the side effects of single mother homes. You get boys like this talking like they grown. Half of them got no choice. They have to grow up fast to imbalance the, um, to balance the uh, immature nature of most single mothers in the modern day. But at the same time, you, most sons that got fathers in the home ain't cussing like this. I guarantee it. Who the fuck is Mariah? Mariah, what you talking about? Who's Mariah? Huh? No. Now, you already know what I'm finna say about this. I already said it. In 2022, stop being scared to call the police on these bitches. Look at this shit. If the roles were reversed and this nigga smacked her, he'd probably be in jail. Or if he didn't go to jail, there'd probably be a whole outcry for him to get arrested or charges or something. Everybody will say that she's stuck and she has no choice but to stay in the house with an abusive man. What do you think most men do on a day-to-day -day basis? Most men got to stay in a home with an abusive-ass woman who constantly berates him, <clears throat> tells him what the fuck to do, puts him down, uh, uh, emasculate him, especially in front of the kids. That's like the biggest thing that hurts a man deep down is when you emasculate him in front of his children because to a child they're to a child like and i understand most single mothers don't understand this like at all but to most children their dad is like the pillar of the world he holds the sky up with one hand at least that's how i saw my dad and my friends saw they dad and my cousin saw they dad everyone's dad can beat everyone in my head i thought my daddy ran the army when he was just really just an nco but look at this shit, man. Over what? Because another wife want to suck on that thing? Because she probably not doing it. Look, I mean, look at her. You know what I'm saying? She insecure. She don't take care of her look. She fat as fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's why she lashes out like that. Because she's too lazy to actually do something about it. See, most women, they'll lash out at you at something like this. Because they don't have the tenacity or the, I, I guess, the capacity to just go ahead and make the, like, go ahead, bitch, go work out. Make yourself attractable. Try to fuck your man every once in a while or suck his dick or something. Don't get mad at the next bitch because she take care of herself and sending your man all these pleasure texts and shit. Now, nah, you ain't getting no attention, bitch. You ain't, you ain't did nothing to deserve no attention. Like, look at, look at her. The bitch sitting on three chins. You know what I'm saying? That's that insecurity. She do all that, look at that, all that money on her lips, outfit, hair. Look at that. Look at hair done, braided, and yet fat as a whale. See, this is another thing I would have taken. Does this is why I don't like. So I never got into social media to do none of this dumb shit. I don't really, it's like, sure, my, everyone on social media's main goal is to reach as many people as possible. But it seems to me that most black, especially black men, I got to literally do the same thing as bitches do to get attention in social media, to get viewers and followership. If they talking some real shit or some intelligent shit, or they talking anything that presumes knowledge, wisdom, and, 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 and your wit, 
and your ability to command respect, they don't want to see it, especially having no black man. They do not want to see that shit. But if you're willing to berate yourself, dance like an ass, and put on a dress, they will promote you like a motherfucker. If you want to put on girl clothes and say hey and all that shit, like you a shenane, they will post your shit. Like, nigga, it make no sense. There's so many men out here with good, wise information that can help the next generation. But they don't promote that shit. They just want niggas to dance, dance, dance. Make them dance, nigga. Ooh. But what I tell you. He's sitting there looking like what? Women's health. I was just calling to let you know that we got in your test results and that everything seems... They're looking this like for what? Women's health. I was just calling to let you know that we got in your test results and that everything seemed fine. Mm. So if you could just call me back at your earliest convenience so I can get a little bit more information from you and so that I can go. See, I can come out. <clears throat> I can come out with content all day with this. Shit. I just never really thought about doing this shit because it's so irritating to me when I watch these shits. But it seems like, like I just said, black folks either got to be dancing like fools we're in a damn dress, or we have to look stupid. And hell, I don't even want to say that for black men. That's for men in general. Only time we get attention is when we act dumb, we dancing all over the screen, or we act like women. That's the only time, um, a lot of times, they want to give us attention is when we emasculate ourselves, when we cut our dick and balls off and hand it to them on a silver fucking platter. And it comes with everything, the whole territory. If you want to get into social media, you got to do that. You want to be in the movie, so you got to do that. Hell, for most of these rappers, nigga, weak as fuck, emasculated as fuck, wearing dresses and shit. Bro, and if you think that's all, bro, it goes down to the ground level, all the way down to regular niggas getting married to regular bitches, okay? The whole idea of marriage, nigga, is to emasculate the man so much to where he came, he's so busy and so... There was so much bullshit on this platter. He can't focus on the things that matter. The uh, or he can't make good, solid decisions. Um, and a lot of times these dudes, they like, like, oh man, I hate that shit. Like, oh god, I gotta, I gotta go talk to my woman first. Like, boy, I seen that shit so much on TV, and it's like, bro, most niggas in history didn't need, didn't ask for their wife's permission to fucking do shit. Hell, most niggas that invented something won't even marry. Nigga, the Wright brothers, I don't think them niggas was married. Einstein, that never was a nigga wasn't married. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as many times I heard stories of, what's his name? Um, uh, Michelangelo, Donatello, or hell, you go back to Greek times, to, uh, what's the name? Uh, Lord have mercy, I forgot the names of the philosophers, like Plato, uh, Salis, I don't man, I'm, I'm really not trying to murder these names because I really don't know them like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, not, not no, uh, I'm not, I'm not all the way book smart. I'm just halfway, you know, a little bit, like 25%. But street smarts, you know, goes, man, shit. But let's continue. What? I'm not shit. Me, brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. Yeah, got I mean, hell, I'm even built this shit. It's looking like his damn daughter. You know, and it goes to show how society is. You know, when men talk today, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody listens. It's not until other people's comfortability and the things that they surround themselves with start to crumble that they start then they'll start to give a nigga they'll start to look at a nigga and give recognition to a nigga you know what I'm saying even with Kevin Samuels nobody was paying attention to that nigga not till that fucking crisis hit with the whole COVID and bitches was staying home and couldn't get their hot girl summer on and then so shit everybody gotta stay inside so ain't no dick coming around ain't nobody giving you no love or nothing or attention or nothing like that you know what I'm saying so what do they do alright they start trying to find niggas on the internet and unfortunately, fortunately, they found that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing. It takes a whole crisis for a nigga that's talking some real shit to get recognized. Ain't that some bull? That just shows, just shows you the state of affairs we in in America. 
I gotta end this video. I gotta end this 10 minutes long, too long. Just a little short things I wanna bring to you.